The Florida Department of Transportation's State Road 79 design build project is showcasing an innovative way to create a smooth asphalt surface. Windrow paving is a more cost efficient and time saving alternative to traditional paving. This work is taking place about a mile and a half north of the city of Vernon and phase B of the overall 20 mile State Road 79 four laning project from Mill Branch Bridge in Washington County to Interstate 10 in Holmes County. With the windrow paving material transfer process, hot asphalt material that has been transported at 325 degrees Fahrenheit from an asphalt plant is laid or dumped in windrows in front of the paver by bottom dump trucks. This non-compacted raw asphalt material is then picked up by a material transfer device and transported into the paver's hopper. The material transfer device is attached to and pushed by the paver. From the paver's hopper, the material is then transferred to the screed where it is placed to the desired width and thickness. Crew members monitor the mat depth with special probes as well as the desired cross slope using a smart level right before steel wheel rollers are driven repeatedly over the freshly laid mat to further compact it. The asphalt material is still around 320 degrees Fahrenheit at this point. In areas where windrow paving can be used, if there is a steady stream of bottom dump trucks supplying material, a windrow paving crew can deliver higher production than more traditional paving consisting of dump trucks delivering intermittently to a paver alone. The right amount of material must be laid in the windrow or it could easily starve the paver or overflow the hopper. There is somewhat of a delicate balance between speed and quality when it comes to paving, and while paving in general is still an overall relatively slow process, windrow paving allows for a great combination of both these characteristics. This results in the desired asphalt mat to reach the ultimate goal of producing a skid-resistant, high-quality, smooth surface to help keep motorists safe on Florida's roadways. You can follow the progress of the State Road 79 Design to Build Project on Facebook and Twitter. Or for more information, contact the Florida Department of Transportation District 3 Public Information Office.